and there we go again. It is DTRO time. Power Inches meet Total Aggressions. Power Inches, two games ahead in a best of five. This is Total Aggressions' absolute last chance to get back into this game. And, I don't know, first game it looked very equal. The second game we have a 10 minutes GG after pretty much every lane just fell apart. The train protector with the high base damage just going man mode and there was nothing they could do. So this time let's see what's coming out there. Total aggression. They have to think what could they possibly do against Power Rangers. The first bands are out. The first pick happened. It is a bat rider. Let's hop into the draft. Yeah, we finally see the bat rider making it through the band pool but this leaves of course the invoker as well as maybe the Shadow Shaman up for Total Aggression or maybe the Nyx Assassin, I mean I don't know actually what Total Aggression want to go for they tried something way different in game number two so hopefully they're going back to their roots, to the aggression that fits their play so well and they get the invoker to start with so either it be Exhort or Quasvex still should be a tempo controller Yep. Definitely. It's, I don't know, it was very interesting to see that as soon as Total Aggression doesn't go totally aggressive, that their entire game plan is just not working out. They need like this early aggression, early pickoffs, like the level advantage by getting the kills, the gold advantage of the first blood to stay in game. Like this is how they won all the other games before the final. Now they play against Power Rangers, oh, yeah, also a team that on. goes very early aggressive, but also has learned over all this time, I mean, I follow Power Rangers for so long now, the tier 1 Slayer, it's, they have learned how to also step back, go back no. in your own half of the map and just farm consistently and then go back fast, fight, and then go back to farm and just keep the advantage like this and they have learned how to get into the late game, something I can't say for Total Aggression, so there's new picks coming, we have the Invoker Nyx on Total Aggression and the question is now, is this going to be battle draft? Yeah, I mean, it's not like the draft was too bad. They just got outplayed with the slow playstyle that they went for. So this time around, like having the Nyx Assassin already is way more aggressive. And the Nyx is really good against the Batrider as well. Just spike Carapace into the Firefly. And suddenly Batrider stand up out of nowhere. And maybe going to get killed because of it. But then again, the Shadow Shaman is on the side of Power Rangers once again, loads of lockdown, Mass Serpent Wars as well, and actually the Hex is really good against the Nyx Assassin as well, because even if he activates the Spike Carapace, you can just Hex him, wait for the Spike Carapace to end, and then follow up with the Shackles. Yep, buff Nyx please, give him spell damage on, <laughs> I mean spell reflect on uh, the Carapace. That would be actually a fine addition to Nyx, that would bring him directly into the first ban first pick man that would media. be too sick like way <laughs> too sick <laughs> way too sick yeah but i would still like to see it anyway oh we missed so many things already here the ember spirit mirana is coming out yeah i mean power rangers going for the ember so maybe gonna try to farm up a little bit more as well although the ember can fight quite early on especially if you go for the chains max build so but total regression they went without the Mirana for one game, was a disaster, so just going back to that hero once again. Yep, and the band's also pretty interesting. Power Range has taken out the Disruptor and the Doom, so the Disable is going. Of course, I can understand the Doom, because it's nicely going against the Ember, and of course the Disruptor, just the same thing. He just uses his remnants to get away, and then he gets just a glimpse in his face, and he Didn't ends up somewhere in a static storm where he can't do jack shit, pretty much. On the other side, Total Aggression bans out two junglers, like the Chen and the Enigma this time. It, To be honest, this feels kind of like, I don't, I don't know what we have to ban, like we just go ban the junglers. So, Power Rangers could still go for Enchantress if they actually were aiming for uh, a jungler. Yeah, they definitely could if they wanted, although I think the Lifestealer might be a pick for them at the moment. Just yep. being able to get out or dodge the Mirana arrow, not care about the Nyx Assassin Spike Carapace nor anything that the Invoker can throw at you. So it could be a pretty decent pickup. They have they have the Bat Rider as well as the Ember to carry the Life Stealer if need be with the Infest. So yeah, it maybe. actually would be pretty cool to run a dual core here. Plus, of course, you already mentioned it, like the Bat Rider being a carry for uh, 
for the Nakes in Fast Bomb. That would storm be interesting. But it is the Storm Spirit. That still wouldn't take out the option of a Lifestealer there. Well, I guess although that would make their lineup way too greedy and how the hell would they delay it then? I well, guess sending Storm the Batrider the... jungle straight away? No, Batrider offline, a Storm in the mid and the... Well, okay, yeah. Or Lifestealer it's... jungle then? <laughs> Lifestealer jungle, yeah, that would be, uh, that would be so greedy though, especially I think Total Aggression is definitely gonna go for the aggressive try lane. And look at it. Look at it, they ban out all the three major junglers. The Rubik, this time out by uh, Power Rangers. This is, <laughs> I don't know. I actually didn't see so much coming out of the junglers, especially in the, in the second game, there was no jungler at all. So, I don't know. Total aggression, just making sure there's nothing coming out of the jungle for Power Rangers. It's a weird draft, I have to say. Not as in their picks, but in their bans. Like, they take out the AA and the pushing potential by the Lycan and then three times the jungler. This is something I've never seen before, to be honest. And there comes additional pushing potential. So they have the Death Prophet and the Venomancer being actually able to do something as in building damage. This is pretty interesting, to be honest. Yeah, it definitely is interesting. And the Death Prophet, it can work out quite perfectly. It's most likely going to be a Death Prophet Batrider matchup on the Radiant safe lane. So the Death Prophet should be able to farm up there. Probably not going to get the kill, but shouldn't die either if he plays it safe. Oh, so... the, visage. the Visage is coming out by Power Rangers. So, I don't know, the drafts are looking pretty interesting. Power Rangers is rather a standard draft, but for total aggression, Something new is coming out. We haven't seen this composition yet in any of their games. And I'm not sure about the laning. Like, are you sure that Death Prophet is not going mid? Because so far, oh, each yeah, and every Yeah, Death he Prophet is. If you look at who is playing, then Death Prophet probably mid with Invoker safe lane. Yeah. Then. This Edco is going to play the Invoker on another lane, and Felix is going mid. But then again, we saw Total Aggression already swapping the lanes. Like, Felix is not 100% of the time taking. Uh, the mid hero, so I'm still not sure about it. Of course, Scandal is gonna end up with the Storm Spirit in mid. This is just too obvious, but I don't know. It's it's pretty interesting that draft. Let's see how the laning is coming out for uh, Total Aggression here. Anyway, I just go for a fast introduction before they even head out. Edco this time on the Invoker. Felix is taking the Nature's uh, the Nature's Prophet. No, he's not the Nature. He's the Death Prophet. FMP is the next assassin. Kershaw, the Stannin, is on the Venomancer and heading towards the offlane at the moment is Buka on the Marana. And for Power Rangers, this time on the Dire side, Cheshire Cat will be heading towards the offlane on the Batrider with J4 on the Shadow Shaman, once again leaving Scandal to take up the Storm Spirit in the mid lane. FNG, the Visage that we haven't seen for ages almost, yep. and Indeed. Moon on the Ember Spirit. Yeah, it's it's pretty interesting that, I don't know, I have the feeling that the Visage is, I don't know, falling a bit back into popularity, even though nothing really changed for the Visage. Like, the only, I actually thought, like, the draw Visage combination, which we saw coming out even in the JDL, for example, or in Starletter, is, I don't know, you know, refreshing a bit the popularity of the Visage, but no, not so at all. Like, the Visage sometimes gets banned, sometimes picked, but picking it is rather rare currently yeah it is and I'm completely mesmerized by the dire courier by the way <laughs> I'm zooming in on it <laughs> like what the hell is this courier a little dwarf like fellow carrying a pig on his pack what's the name of this courier <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah it's it's hilarious and I have to say that anyway we already see some warning coming out we have a uh, sentry preventing this camp from spawning and so far nothing else is coming out but then again who has the observer oh actually there is already one observer coming out by PR given vision into the lane and the creep waves meet in mid they are already fighting and somewhere else well Edco doesn't have any ward whatsoever yeah Not this might be an easy first blood if J4 actually makes the rotation let's say Edco gets like three sticky napalm stacks suddenly there's a shackle as well Getting like four to five napalm stacks on him with the firefly as well. To be oh, honest, I, I don't think the laning will be like this forever. Like, 
I don't know, the Invoker alone versus those two, that won't work out. The Shadow Shaman is coming in there. And they need some presence here in the jungle because then, I mean, at the moment he is stacking. Oh god, it's four. It's sticky. five stacks five now, but there's stacks. no Firefly yet. The Batrider isn't level two. He wants to hit it so desperately. And I think Invoker is overextending himself. Will there be a seven stack? No, there will no, not. No, it's running out. So, yeah, that was really dangerous. If the Batrider was level two, the Shackle just on top, even the level one would have just killed him off. But did we see the first rotation coming in there? FMP on the Nyx, heading towards Scandal's lane here. Yeah, Scandal did saw it with the Dire Observer Ward, and they even put the Sentry down meat themselves, so did a really nice job. And FMP, oh, Edco might be in trouble though. On the bottom lane, four sticks of Sticky Napalm, Firefly into Shackles as well, some more Sticky Napalm stacks, and that will be the first blood for sure here. The Magic Stick doesn't help him out. Yep. First blood goes to the Batrider, the one who needs it the most for the Blink Dagger Rush. And as I said, I don't think the laning will stay like this because at the moment we have the Rasta just stacking for the Batrider in the enemy jungle. So they have to stop this. It can't be that like the enemy is just using your own jungle and everything. But now FP in trouble. Yeah, just a great out. chill. Flame Guard burn as well. Nice Impale actually catches both heroes, takes care of the Flame Guard. But the Soul Assumption coming out. Nice two man gate arrow onto FNG as well. I think the Vichy actually might drop. He doesn't have armor. So he goes down in the end. No deny coming out by Moon. And now Moon in trouble. He's still slowed by the Venom Scale. There's the leap from Mirana. He uses the chains to try to escape, but will it Arrow, be enough? Two seconds, one. But he's not hes not fishing for it. But in the meantime, we saw, by the way, Faelet's killing Scandal one on one. So, TA, two and one. Like two minutes 50 in. That's not a bad start after all. Except for, of course, the f first blood on the Invoker. Yeah, it's not the most optimal thing for them, but then again. Not going too bad yet either, but J4 just camping at the haste room, waiting to maybe go on Invoker or into the mid lane. Oh, he and there's no vision Invoker. either. Edco has two sticks, three sticks of sticky napalm. Oh, I think he's gonna go down. There's the shackles coming up. Firefly as well, four stacks going. He has the other tornado and ten Oh, he doesn't use his stick. He had ten stick charges, he didn't use it. Like, I think his plan was to use it, turn around, tornado them both and run away, but yeah. And now finally, they even, yeah, they, they changed the laning, like the Visage is now even coming bottom here. They know they can go for something, they get probably even another kill on the Invoker if Total Aggression doesn't answer this. And now they're stacking the entire jungle, this Batrider is gonna have a super, super fast Blink Dagger. Yeah, they're doing a really nifty little thing, although they are completely sacrificing Moon's farm for it. And Cheshire Cat gets gold snapped up, Tornado got used already, but there's J4 coming in, there's the Shackles as well. There's only one stack of Sticky Napalm and no mana for the Firefly, so Invoker should be fine. A TP comes in, FMP, can he land the stun, the Impale? Does it FNG, a EMP as well? It hits, but it's so low level at the moment. Oh, and Faelets versus Scandal, Illusions are up. And Faelets actually has to run away, there's no ultimate, and Scandal not level 6 yet, but the right click slowing him down and he grabs the kill. Yeah, no, this was not a good idea going for him there, especially the silence just being broken by the illusions, so not a very good idea. So, I mean, first he got Scandal, now Scandal just turns it around, so the mid lane still kind of even. If you compare the farm, it's 20 and 10 and 15 to 6, so Death Prophet definitely on the back foot here. But finally, it happened what I said all the time, they have to do something about this bot lane. The Nyx... Is in and do they spot out J4 here? If the if, if goes they in, do, might. he's in big, big trouble. Yep. If he gets blocked in there, he's really in big trouble. Oh, he has tangos though, so should be able to eat his way out. But oh, they want to go in the invoker. There's the grave shield, shackles, firefly, sticky napalm, ether shock, and so soul assumption. Not even necessary. Yeah, this is the third time the invoker goes down. I mean, the Nyx rotated, but he just left for I don't know. I guess he wanted to to go stack. Oh, uh, I mean, go pull for the small camp in here, and now uh, I j I thought Jessica is gonna use the residual firefly, but yeah, he's just gonna wait for the next firefly. He's gonna stack even once more this camp. They're using the enemy jungle. This is just great what Power Rangers is doing here. Yeah, it's really nice usage of the map because stacking their own jungle would leave the camps actually vulnerable to getting picked off like we saw in a semi-final game yesterday with Power Rangers versus whoever it was. 
So, a nice chapter, I mean, I think Total Aggression has no idea what's going on in their own jungle at the moment. Yep, also no wards coming around this time, so I really like it. Like, Power Rangers found the pattern in Total Aggression's game pretty much after two games. You can see how fast they are reading their strategy, so, yep. They're definitely showing their skill and, and experience. Started. Look at this, and look at his gold. Oh god, he's gonna have a blink dagger now. Three, seven minutes. Yep. With a bottle on top. I think the fastest blink dagger in the Detro we saw at six minutes something, and this is gonna be, yeah. He has his blink dagger right now. He just needs to buy it, and that's it. This is 6 minutes and 30 seconds, and we see... Oh, Scandal goes there on the top lane. He catches Kircho, but there's the arrow coming in as well. He gets the Venom scale out, but there's the silence by Fail at Smoon, though. Flame Guard already activated. The Impale misses by the Nyx Assassin as well. J4 should be able to run away, or no. Long range, Crypt Swarm gets the kill. Yeah, at least they trade one for one. Like, the... I don't know. The problem is that, like, Phalex did not have enough mana for the Exorcism that should come out... Pretty much now. Now he has enough mana for the exorcism. They might even go for it. The Ember Spirit is not level 6 yet, but he will as soon as one creep pretty much gets killed. Yeah, if he gets to level 6, it will be so much harder to pin him down, but that's what the Silence was drafted for. For the Ember as well as the Storm Spirit, it's so nice versus them. Oh, and Scandal? Scandal? <laughs> <laughs> They smoke up as well, just to get some faster movement speed. That's a slightly weird move. I mean, they can't get anything. Although Kircho did slow down FNG with the Venom Escape. Yeah, but... Oh, the smoke actually got broken. But I don't know if they see him. Like, there is a blink coming out, but it is... Oh, there's the lasso onto Mirana on the top lane, and wow. Yep, the blink that dagger, first. first initiation, first kill with the blink dagger. That bite rider is just gonna make so much happen here. And Atko still alone on this lane. We have the visit rotating in, and yeah, Scandal will follow him. He's in so much trouble if he doesn't go back. Yeah, he has no wards. I mean, Total Aggression literally have zero vision on the map. Yeah, and there go. Go. there's the long range ship, Electric Vortex as well. The Grave Chill did get used, and the Solar Something coming out. And the other shock crafts the kill, but Scandal actually gets stunned up by the Impale. Although, Nyx Assassin, only level 5, can't really do anything. Yeah. The only thing they get in return is a bit damage on the tier 1. Like, Mirana died before by the Batrider, not farming whatsoever. Faelit's now doing damage to the tier 1, but it's a level 1 exorcism. You can pretty much, yeah, I don't know, 50% of the tower. The fact that the Invoker is not working out at all. Like, having no vision whatsoever now, we actually see, finally, a ward coming out. Like giving some vision on the bottom rune and of course all the rotations happening. But this is, was one of the biggest mistakes I've seen so far for TA. The invoker not getting any support and not any wards whatsoever. Oh, Just Edco going for the courier snipe. No, nope, doesn't get it. And this courier, I mean, even the upgrade is so silly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now, now actually it's the, the, say, the pig is actually flying. Yeah, so they reverse it's like the roles, f f first the man has to do the work and then the pig carries yeah. the man. <laughs> and FMP is now getting some free levels here, but the Visage and J4, they're already waiting. He's pretty much oom, the only thing he can go for is a carapace, the question is that enough. And Scandal is already rotating in here, he's going through the jungle. This is a very easy kill if they do it right, and at the moment FMP smells. Oh, and yeah. Nirana in trouble as well. Oh, they... Yeah, yeah like, oh, fighting no less so even. Yeah, no, the Bat Rider just came in for some damage. Like, the Ember would have gotten the solo kill there. And FMP actually makes it out. So, Scandal, J4, and uh, FNG, they could still go for a tower push. Yeah, oh, they're gonna maybe defend the mid lane. The Cliff did get used, and Cheshire Cat coming in. He has the lasso as well. Blink, come on, go. Yeah, but there's the Cold Snap actually with the EMP as well. Bat Rider getting caught. Doesn't have the Firefly, slowed down by the Venom scale as well. I think he just gave away his life. There's the Crypt Swarm, a few right clicks yeah. and the Venom Answer. That's also pretty nice there for TA because this is a killing spree worth 406 gold just going away. They got the tier 1, but in return, Power Rangers take the tier 1 in the bottom lane. Yeah, so slightly going towards the favor of Total Aggression in the end there, because that Bat Rider kill at least slows down the 4 staff, if even by a little, but Moon, 
I thought he maybe wants to go aggressive on the invoker, but thank God he isn't because there's so much backup going on. Like five heroes moving towards the side of the top lane. I don't think Power Rangers is too much interested in going really early out here because they need some farm on the Ember Spirit and in the meantime they're doing with the support and also of course with the help of Master Open Wards etc. They get tier 1s and everything so it's all good but now TA wants another tower and they get it. Question is last hit, yeah, goes for the Mirana and this is exactly what he needs. He probably finishes Aquila but then what is he going for? Do we see a Mjolnir's build again? Bad Trader? Smoked? But he's going against four. He needs more. He needs more manpower behind him. The Ember also smoked up. But they want to bait the tier one. Is yeah, this not tier one for tier two? I'm not sure. They poked the exorcism as well. It is only so, level one still, but... But it is commitment to the tier two. So the yeah. tier one will sure go looks down. Like oh, a nice flame break actually. Hitting four heroes there. But it won't stop them for long. I mean, there's no mech or anything, but the magic sticks. And just some region. Oh, the tornado catches the bat rider. There's the cold snap as well. EMP, Easter Cheshire Cat will be able to escape, but ever so slightly. Yep. And the power it's goes tier down one. It's a tier 1 for a tier 2, but PR is already pushing on. Master of Water out, and this is, yeah, a bad trade after all. Simply for the fact that they lose a tier 2. No kill on the bat rider. So oh, they try to get the deny, but Scandal actually gets it. And now. With the tower being done, they just TP out, mission accomplished. Two towers for one, definitely a better trade for Power Rangers there. Yeah, they somehow actually managed to out-push TA, because those Serpent Wars are so good. I mean, Total Aggression, they had zero heroes there to actually kill or try to snipe off the wards. So easy damage on the tower, and getting some nice gold, and actually Scandal, even with the gold they have gotten, He's not going for the Orchid, but oh, Mirana in trouble. Invis, Batrider, Familiars are there as well. There's the Firefly into the Lasso. FNG coming in with some Soul Assumption damage. Will they get the kill? Actually, Boko uses the Moonlight Shadows, but stands in the Firefly and goes down. Yep, pretty much no chance. This is also a level 1 leap, so he won't get far with that leap. Maybe go in High Crown. There was a small chance with the Moonlight Shadow to juke around, but yep, Batrider just fast in reaction. Level 1 leap, nothing to really escape. And TA, they want to answer. They go for a four man smoke. They need to find something. It's four and nine. Also, tower wise, it's pretty bad. And do they find Scandal? Ooh, tornado misses though, and EMP won't hit or will it? No, the cold snap. Not enough there. Maybe they get the familiars on top of it. That would be at least something. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, they really need every little bit that they can get. And yeah, yeah. they get one familiar at least. At least 100 gold for Atco for the smoke. So actually, at least they got their smoke gold back. 100 for the smoke <laughs> and a familiar on top of it. So yeah, at Worth least it. your plus minus zero. Yeah. Oh, Faylets might get caught as well. If Moon goes in, J4 is uh. there. They have the Serpent Wars. They go for Faylets. There's the chains coming up. Hex as well. The arrow does hit Moon though, but the shackles under the Serpent Wars secure the kill on Faylets. Yeah, absolute commitment there to get Faylets down. Even the mass open wards are being used instead of like going for the kill just by normal means and then using the mass open wards on the tier 1. So this is looking again pretty grim for TA but at least not as grim as last game. I mean there's still a chance to get back here but at the moment... Oh Scandal long range jump finds Kurtro. There's the electric vortex coming in as well the Batrider. He's there with a flame break and oh god I actually thought the Angels yeah, might get that. The and oh Edco, Edco in going as down. Well. Moon doesn't actually have any mana but they're just chasing. The Impale misses as well. There's the Shackles coming in. Right clicks to follow by Moon. Uses the flame guard and gets the kill with the burn damage. Yeah, it's pretty unusual, like in all games we saw TH just playing together, you know, four men, five men, whatsoever, but now they get caught out, I don't know, all the time alone, like, Invoker dying solo, the Venomancer dying solo, it's it's absolutely not typical for, I don't know, Total Aggression's gameplay, I mean, they played so well over the entire tournament, so w what's wrong with them right now, they had a nice game one, the second game, okay, just forget about it. Is this really the aftermath of the second game where they're like, oh damn it, like we really have no chance, and they're like, you know, when you have this, the, the team suddenly play weird after they lost the game where the other, where the enemy really dominated. This really looks like it at the moment. Yeah, definitely not their usual game plan. Maybe they are feeling the loss of game number two just. Morale is so low at the moment that they can't seem to find 
the pickoffs to actually get it back up. I mean, the, this game started quite horribly as well with the Invoker, getting picked off a couple of times. Yep, and I'm looking at the crafts at the moment. We have 10k XP advantage, and looking at the gold, it is about 5k. So gold, not as huge as the XP, but then again, yeah, with this XP lead, it's just not funny. FMP on the hunt, but he's, it's only scandal he will find, and I don't know, level 11 Storm versus level 6 Nyx Assassin. I don't think that will lead to anything now. Oh, Spike Carapace is easy. there, but the Electric Fortress came out, the arrows, well, it gets dodged by the ball lightning. Nyx Assassin goes down, but Scandal has to TP out, can do so successfully as well. Oh, and he uses the Exorcism as well. Well, maybe he can get the tier 1 with yeah, the Exorcism. If he rotates really fast, if they push forward, maybe get something into the tier 1 there, yeah. This is really unfortunate, oh. but let's go Tornado, no EMP though, onto FNG, and they might turn it around. Moon, no, not going aggressive. And yeah, the Exorcism is now being used for the tier 1 tower, but the clip is used and Scandal is already back. <laughs> oh my god, Batrider is gonna find a haste drone, probably oh the best god. one you can find in this situation. They will go for it, for sure. Yeah, there's Paul Lightning in by Scandal, can he get the stun on Mirana? Sure he can, there's the last two as well, they get Mirana. Death Prophet at least escapes and Courier gets killed in the middle of it, oh god. Oh god. Was there something in the Courier I didn't Oh, see. it was the finished Yasha on the Mirana. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, he has the Blade of Alacrity in his inventory, but the recipe and the Band of Elven Skin is in the Courier, so... Yeah. It's, it's, just, it's just not working out again, like now the courier down as well, like they didn't even get that tier 1 tower. Oh, mid lane Nyx Assassin solo initiation by J4, there's the shackles under the Serpent Wars and Cheshire Cat with the flame break just steals the kill. Yep, I think we look at a fast GG here again, like I, I just can't think of anything, like usually TA shines in their fights, especially when they're many, but at the moment they just get solo pickups, you know, like dual push alone on a tier 1 and like they absolutely get overtaken by by PR. PR just answering with 5 and getting the kills. It's funny because right now PR plays like total aggression in the earlier game. Oh, they're on the hunt, they catch the two of them but the Venom scale comes out and Kircher just hexed up. There's the Shackles as well, Cheshire Cat drops quite low actually, will go down as well in the end and the Venom are still alive with J4 trying to TP out all oh, the arrow just a little too late. And they lose the gem as well so total aggression. Really nice turnaround. Well, not back in game yet, but at least something happened in their favor. Yeah, it's definitely like not game changing getting the one pick off, but having the gem will allow him allow them to uh, exert some map control at least. As long as we can go. Oh, there's the EMP as well, but the tornado comes out too late, so scandal. Will he go in actually? Edgar does get changed up. Oh, he gets the fourth half out. Nice Venom scale by the Venomancer, slowing down both heroes. And this Venomancer looks like he wants more, but Scandal TP's out. And top lane, there's the Exorcism. Hex onto Boako. The Shackles onto Phalus. This the Prophet gonna get less sold up as well. Mirana burns to death from the Ember. And they just threw away everything they fought for. Yeah, pretty much. That is a bad rider for what looks like. Possibly. I mean, he has Vendetta now in one second. He uses the Spike Carapace, but not Vendetta yet. Now it comes. There is. Oh, now he used the Sentry just a tiny bit too late. So th this Nyx is getting away. Yeah, this Nyx just got away. And I don't know, it's still. It's 17. Looking at the net worth, like PR, except for the Death Prophet, they're just leading even in the net worth. I don't know, the Mirana, the Invoker, it's, it's just not working out. And now Scandal is going for Etko. He's supported by J4, who can come in pretty fast with a dagger. And that's exactly what I mean. Why are they alone? Yeah, there's the immediate hex up, Ether Shock as well. The Shackles not coming out, but the Electric Vortex is there, of course, and Scandal dominating for him. Yeah, you, you never see this. Like, in none of their games, we saw them going alone anywhere. Total aggression always meant, like, team fights, massive push, really fast push whatsoever. But now, I don't know, Edko. He played so nice on, on all the other heroes, like the Nature's Prophet or the other heroes we saw him on, but now with the Invoker, like also like his Tornado EMP play is not really on spot. So, I don't know, at the moment it just doesn't work out for them. Not at all. Yeah, Edgar is definitely feeling the pressure. I mean, he's been dying six times and he's only been part of two kills, so 
not the most successful game for him, and I think it's just Power Rangers. They pretty much forced Total Regression to a unfamiliar draft with their own draft, with their bands and picks. So Total Regression just thrown off their game, as well as, of course, Power Rangers. Just nice rotations all around. And Total Regression, they look like they don't have an idea how to counter what's happening, but it looks like they're gonna group up top lane and try to get the kill on Moon. He gets slowed down, he uses the active fire remnant though to get out. FMP actually might find him still. No, he doesn't even see him. Now he's pretty much away and he will just come back after he's out of the base. But the only good thing is, if he comes right back to this remnant, I think he's out of remnant. They can go for him, but they don't know actually he got one new remnant there. Now he just came in there and... Oh well, they don't even find it. And now something's happening, what I was waiting all the time for, the Roshan. We are 21 minutes in, there wasn't even any need for Roshan. The Shadow Shaman is just gonna pop his Rasta Walls at the tier 3 tower as a distraction. And FNG looks like he's going for a solo Roshan. Yeah, this is <laughs> really man mode, Vihic. He's level 11, so has the Aghanim's ultimate as well. So he does some damage, but he has to tank up way too much on his own, I think. Yeah, somebody has to come in and somebody has to, like, tank this. This is not gonna be a sneaking rush. Oh, Cheshire wants to go for Mirana. Mirana doesn't have any mana. Leap used as well. There's the Lasso coming out, Cheshire Cat. Can he drag him to the high ground? Doesn't look like it, but he will be able to get the kill anyway with the Firefly. But he might be in trouble. Kurtzio, can he get the Venom scale? No, just back enough. This is actually a solo Roshan, like I'm so baffled, like FNG is so low already, but now the familiars with the medallion and everything, it's so hilarious to watch this. Nobody's helping the FPR. Now we have the Shadow Shaman. This is oh. the end of Roshan, the medallion is up, there is the Hex. Now that <laughs> should be enough, but what a slow Roshan. And in the meantime, Scandal is in trouble. Oh, yep. yeah. He loses <laughs> his dominating to Atko there, but at the same time Roshan goes down. FMP found him, like this was in pay mana burn, he used the BKB but it was not enough to right click, it's just finishing him off after he was mana burn. Yeah actually the mana burn plus the EMP get a lot of mana away from the Stormtrooper, but they don't care, but Moon trouble in top lane, he has so much poison on him, yeah he's silenced up, but now with the fire and turning it around, there's Cheshire Cat with the flame break, arrow onto Moon, the Moon will go down to the Star Storm at least, and Cheshire Cat has to back off for the time being. So, one for one after all, like, and Ember Spirit also losing his mega kill. This is quite some gold now going in the way of TA there. But, oh my god, Faelitz, what are you doing? He wants oh, to buy there's something. the Hex onto the Invoker with the Serpent Wars, with the Shackle as well. I think this Invoker should fall, but the Narrow caught by J4. There's the Crypt Swarm as well. Star Storm from long range, Soul Assumption, not enough by the Vigit, but Vigit on the hunt has, of course, the Ages as well. He doesn't care at all. The Familiars scout the Mirana, but. So what was it, a 2 for 2 in the end, if you yeah, count with Scandal Atko dying? down there, but I don't know, the J4 being so lucky there as well, it was like 100 HP or something, he just needed really two right clicks, that would have been enough. But yep, I mean after all, even, even the Death Prophet was kind of lucky that he got out of there. Yeah, he was really low and him coming back was... Somewhat wishful as well, but it worked out in the end. He didn't die. And actually getting the kill on the two spirits, both the Ember and the Storm, it's not too bad because Moon is not actually dishing out too much damage except for with his burn from the Searing Chains and the Flame Guard. Oh, but they might catch it. Go. Oh, they don't have a gem though. No, the gem is on the Batrider. He's already dewarding with it, but yeah, they don't have it here. Problem is the Visage has the Aegis, so... Actually, Invoker wants oh, to come in. Arrow, oh, five seconds. Once again, Venom scale. There's the EMP as well. Starstorm coming out. And Moon really go down. The Flame Guard. Low range Fire Remnant. Wow. And at the same time, Batrider gets the Death Prophet there. They might get Venom at the top. Yes, they do. Soul Assumption onto the Mirana. Multi kill for <laughs> FG. Can they get more J4? He's on the hunt. Backs off finally. Yes, they go for the tier 1. This visage oh, wow. is just. <laughs> yeah, the visage is just going man mode. Medallion, Aghanims, he's he has the ages, that's why he can go so aggressive. And Edko, he wants more. But there's the EMP once again with the cold snap. Visage actually might lose his ages a few more right kicks, but there's the Serpent Wars once again. FMP though is there to stun up the Shadow Shaman before the shackles come out. 
Oh, FMP though drops down to the familiars. The tower falls down as well. FNG. Oh, oh he's on the hunt. Grave chill onto it. Go. Can't but Yeah, this up. was just a low one. This was like one or two charges. And now they go again. Yeah, there's the tornado. Venom's scared to slow him down afterwards. He uses the poison low as well, but there's the soul assumption. Edgo has to back off. And Kurt now man fighting. The Aegis has dropped, so Venomancer actually might get the kill, or will he? Edgo coming back as well. Soul assumption into the face. <laughs> there's Mirana coming in now with a slow by the roll of Aethos, and Mirana finally takes care finally, of the Finally, they pieces. get the dominating off there. <laughs> They tried to sneak the familiars, but familiars are already off the map, so... Wow, FNG going for some plays there, but yep, yeah, overstating his welcome in the end. Slightly overextended. It's still 10 and 26. To be honest, it, at the moment this feels like they are just playing around a bit, nothing else, but yeah. I don't know, the damage he's dishing out, it's, it's pretty sick. Yeah, it most definitely is, and he's quite tanky as well, he has... Everything except for the familiars maxed out, so the Gravekeeper's Cloak on level 4 adds a lot of magic as well as physical resistance, but Faylet's Moon going aggressive, you know, aggressive on him, but immediate silence up. Yeah, I actually like the Rune of Aether simply for the fact that he can easily take off this Lincoln Sphere. Yeah, it's not bad, and even if Moon isn't present, just slowing down anybody else, maybe even the Batrider, I mean, if the Batrider goes in, lasso somebody, and if he gets slowed down by the Road of Atos, then that's a pretty nice, actually, slow there. Yep, definitely. And now they saw Scandal, but Scandal is using the invisibility rune. There is no gem whatsoever. But now Scandal knows that the invoker is here. The, the ping is coming out. There, you see it. <laughs> Edgo also knows someone is here. Yeah, too bad they don't have any vision, though. Yep. I mean, the gem is still on the Batrider for ages now, like, and Batrider not dying, definitely not helping. Now oh, there's the see. tornado on the bottom, with the EMP as well, just like it uses the BKB, can you catch anybody? There's the force step Lasso onto Edgo, this invoker should go down, but there's the Moonlight Shadows coming out as well, he uses the Ghost Walk, but the Serpent Wars deployed, Ether Shock crafts the kill, but Bako is there, nice Arrow J4, goes down in the end. One for one so far as Scandal, nowhere to be seen, and just like slowed down by the Athos. Drops there goes as well. the gem. Where is Scandal? This Scandal was in the background. Oh, Moon actually through. silenced up. Arrow into the face. Five second one. Will he fall? One more right click. Yes, it goes down to Payless. Now FNG next in line. F Vendetta is there by FMP. Is the hit. There's the Impale as well. I think this Visage is about to drop and Scandal. Yeah, just really a nice there. Four people dying for the cost of just the Invoker, right? that's certainly something worth it. In the meantime, Visage Familiar is actually split pushing the bottom lane and this tower is going da -da 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 down. Yep, there <laughs> it goes. Oh god, what the hell was the fight? I mean, Scandal... <laughs> PR is throwing. <laughs> yeah, Scandal was like at this area already. Suddenly it just turned around and it's like, screw you guys, I'm not fighting. Yeah, no, it was just too late. Like they over, like they committed so much because Batrider blinked in, but it wasn't enough for the lasso. So he used the the force stuff to actually get closer. So well, he got the lasso. Cool story, but then again, I don't know. It just didn't They're going on the invoker. There's the lasso. Scandal is in place as well. Finally, the electric water will be there, and they secure the kill. Yep, Edco. It's just not his game. Definitely not his game. He had such a horrible start on the lane, and he is like the one getting caught out all the time. We look at a 1 in 10 invoker. Oh my goodness. It's just not working for him. It definitely isn't. At least Paylets now has a Shiva Scar finished up. So something yep. is going that, for that's them. quite some work in the last fight. That Shiva's impact, like finish off the Rasta, slowed the Batrider after the BKB. That was pretty much the main reason they actually got such a nice follow-up. But yeah, still, it's just not enough. Looking at the network, like Scandal and the Batrider is just still leading. The Death Prophet is the only one coming close. And then we have 10k, 10k on Visage and Ember. Even with the kills or like the horrible fight for PR happening there. It's nothing they can stop. And... I don't know, TA again playing with the Mirana, but the Mirana just on 8.5k. Once more, another game where the Mirana just not having the impact. I don't know why TA is, is trying it again. Like, if it just didn't work out. First can work out, 
Now in the third game, it's not working out again. Mirana's is not having any impact except for the good arrows and the Moonlight Shadow. But right click wise, it's just not working. Oh, and there dies a familiar with the Vendetta. Yeah, yeah, nice snipe, getting some gold there. FNG though has to resummon if need be. And they, looks like the tier 2 tower. Yep. Top push is coming. If the they're done with this tower, to... then Roshan should be up pretty soon right after. Would he be in by the invoker and that god should be able to make sure that they stay alive. Oh, they're, they're hunting for failets. He has the haste from Shiva's card as well, but the lasso comes out before Scandal. Has the sheep stick if need be, he uses it, but there's the haste turn, like I said. He gets pulled in by the electric vortex as well. They have the moonlight shadows, but it's just not enough. Yeah, nice, nice waiting there by Scandal. He didn't use the vortex at all, but moonlight shadow oh, is probably. out, and they want to go. But this is gonna end horribly. The tornado does hit, but the serpent wars come out. Bokko caught with the shackles under it, and that go should go down as well. He uses the nice force, but searing chains are there, and Moon just going to town with the right fix. There's the grave kill as well, and J4 grabs the kill. <laughs> <laughs> the Mad Bomber actually dropping the kills, and I think this was finally the, I don't know, this was definitely a fight they didn't want to have to happen, like Fade is getting caught out alone, both lanes are getting pushed, Batrider is pushing one, Scandal is pushing one, and still with three, it just got four kills there in summary, and they are ready to go for tier three on so multiple lanes at the moment. Yeah, it's... Just falling apart for TA at the moment. Oh, Chesarket goes for the last so on to Kircho as well. This Venomatcher dies before he can do anything. Yep. Well, the only good thing for them is that the Master Open Wards are not out yet, but still, like, even without the Master Open Wards, the tier 3 goes down. The racks will follow pretty soon. At the moment, they go for the ranged one on top, but here, Scandal in the meantime getting the melee racks, and now he's out. Oh, he so. gets arrowed actually, Starstorm as well, but he hex onto Boako Mirana. No. Nice jump away by, by Scandal, yep. dodging the silence. Pretty nice play there by Scandal. The first one to dodge the silence, the second one to dodge the tornado. So, but they got what they came for. Roshan is now spawned. They can go directly into Roshan and then just finish the job. The tier threes are down for two lanes. The melee Rex is down for the bottom lane. I don't know, TA, I guess they won't GG out of this game since it's the last game for them to have just a small chance to stay in the BO5. It's game number three. If they oh, lose it. Poor Venomancer getting yeah. dragged out onto the high ground. I think Batrider might just leave him there and run away. Yep, that's exactly what he's doing. Firefly this is, is still such there. a bad way of dying. I mean, even Moon isn't coming in. He finally uses the Slight of Fist, watches the Venom <laughs> scale and Flame Break, gets the kill in the end. Yeah, and in the meantime, by the way, the three familiars doing uh, backdoor work here on... Oh my god, now Nyx is trying to stop them, but yeah, backdoor action on the range tracks. If the creeps would enter, he could actually go for quite some significant uh, visage damage, but instead, they just go for Roshan, and this is now, yeah, the opening they need. Now they just go for frontal attack whatsoever. Yeah, they have the Desolator up on the Ember as well, if and they the just Rex. pop the Serpent Wars. The Rex just went down. Rat Toto at its finest. <laughs> oh no, like... You remember Euphoria where we had like the... Yeah, that yeah, was... Well, that was Rat Toto at its finest. <laughs> yeah. About 200 Visage Familiars were sacrificed this game, but they got Rex after Rex just by Rat Totoing. Oh, Moon maybe wants to go in. Does dodge the arrow at least, or well... Not even dodging, but oh, fail, let's get caught. 15 fail, nice tornado EMP, those scandal coming in with the PKB long range sheep onto Echo. They kill off failets as well, and Kircho, of course, on the Venomancer, dying as well. Yep. Although the Serpent Wars did get popped a little bit back, and scandal gets arrowed up, but GG, well played, is cold anyway. He had the ages, Mirana goes down as does Invoker. There we go, the entire. Yeah, there's even not a buyback left whatsoever, it all has been used. Anyway, TA, I mean it was better than the last game, but as I said, the first game was the best where it actually looked close, but after they lost to PR, the performance was just going downhill. Power Rangers win 3-0 in the finals, so they win the D2 row Spring Cup. Congratulations to them. Anyway guys, this was brought to you by Hafla TV. I'm Hafla Mark, with me was Coucher. It was an honor to cast this event and thanks for all the people who tuned in. Thanks for following us on Twitch or on our social media. 
It was really fun with you, and I hope to see you in another tournament pretty soon. See ya, guys.